Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Shazam, well, King Shazam, and before this video gets started, I just want to say thank you for people who have started subscribing to me, I will be doing a shout out to you because I'm going to be honest with you right now, I never thought I'd get subscribers, so huge shout out to you people that have started subscribing to me, and I haven't done Origins for a while just because I don't want to do characters that like everyone knows. And I don't want to do the big name characters. I'm trying to do people that, you know, people don't know a lot about. Just like my origins on Asriel, I I am shocked on how many views that's getting. It's up to like 75 right now. And, you know, most of my videos only get like 15. But, of course, you know, with enough said, let's get this origin started. So, obviously, we are here to talk about Prometheus and... Before I get started with his origin, I'm going to give you like his characteristics or like the main idea first. So Prometheus is a dark reflection of Batman. He was raised by criminals who were gunned down by policemen right in front of him. Dedicating his life to destroying the law, Prometheus traveled the world and trained in the ways of murder. Clad in an armored suit that maximizes his natural skills, he is a master assassin whose physical and mental abilities rival Batman's own. Currently active as a costumed criminal, Prometheus poses a, a pathological need to kill enforcers of the law, whether police officers, vigilantes, or superheroes. And the main reason I will be doing these his, his origins is because if you play Arkham Knight, there's going to be a DLC called The Season of Infamy, and Prometheus is going to be one of the six villains, so I just want to get an origin out there so people can know more about Prometheus. So, of course, with that said, let's get on to his origin. Prometheus was the son of two loving, hippie criminals who traveled across the United States with him. They committed indiscriminate murders and thefts, often of a brutal nature. Eventually, they were cornered and forced the police to gun them down in front of their son, whose hair turned white from the shock. That night, he swore an oath to annihilate the forces of justice. His true name has not yet been revealed. Prometheus obtained large sums of money, both from his parents' hidden stashes of money and by extorting local mob bosses using his knowledge of their criminal activities. Leaving home at the age of 16, he used his money to travel the world in order to develop the skills he would need. His activities during this period included training as an underground pit fighter in Brazil, working as a mercenary in Africa, joining terrorist groups in the Middle East, studying Silet in Malaysia, associating with the wealthy social elite in order to learn their secrets and attending only the finest in legitimate ac academic schools and universities. Eventually, he found the legendary um, Himalayan city of Shambhala, inhabited by a sect of monks who worshipped evil itself. Studying with them, he eventually became a favorite of their leader, who showed him their greatest treasure, an alien spaceship upon which their ancient monastery had been built. The leader then transmuted it into one of the aliens who'd first landed there, and Prometheus was forced to kill him to obtain the key to the ghost zone. Along with the ship was a key that opened into what Prometheus dubbed the ghost zone in expanse, infinite expanse of white nothingness, which can also be kind of like the phantom zone. Prometheus would eventually build himself a small lopsided wooden house in the ghost zone. Here, he was free to build up a resistance to the GLA, unhindered by Earth's authorities or heroes. So that right there is the origins of Prometheus. Not a lot of information on him, but like it said, he is a dark reflection of Batman, and he wants to destroy the law. So, of course, are you a fan of this guy who likes to destroy the law? Make sure to subscribe, leave a like for more origins, 
And of course, as always, I'd like to see you all next time.